All right. Welcome, everybody, to a video. Uh, we haven't done one of these in a while. Um, our channel's been kind of quiet. Uh, life has been happening, and so it's kept pretty much all of us from being able to really do anything. Um, my big excuse for not filming anything is mostly that I've been lazy and haven't felt like filming anything. So, I figured, I just got this in the mail today. This would be a good opportunity to film an unboxing. Um, this is a Southern Army box for Heavy Gear Blitz. Spencer talked me into uh, getting a, a starter box to play the game with. Um, they were doing a sale for, you know, stuck-at-home people. So I figured, heck, why not? Um, so I figured this would be a good opportunity for us to go through the box, see what you get. Um, I know there's uh, probably a lot of people who have never heard of or played Heavy Gear. Um, and despite the fact that it is, it seems to be a fairly popular game, um, I've never seen anyone play it. Spencer's the only person I know that plays it. So, um, so what do you get in the box? You get exactly what you see on the box. This is what comes in the box. Um, all of the rules and stuff you can get for free off of DreamPod 9's website, though it's hosted on uh, RPG something or other. Um, I'll try to remember to put links in the description for DreamPod 9 and for the place where you can get the rules. Um, yeah, so let's see what's in the box. Okay, so you get a cardboard box, paper, a sticker on the cover, and inside the box, a whole bunch of sprues, including this one, which I've already cut stuff off of. Um, so this box in particular, for the Southern Army, I need you to stay open, thank you, comes with one King Cobra, and this is a nice thing, the sprues tell you what is built by that particular sprue, so this will build, build a King Cobra. Um, so far I have the pieces cut out to build it as it appears in the instruction book that you have to download in order to figure out what goes with what and how stuff gets built. Here are your bases. There are three of these 40 millimeter bases and there are ten of these hexagonal bases. And I'm just going to pour them out right into the box. Okay, I cleaned up the, 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 the uh, bases. So you get, um, here we have some drones. Demolition drone, hunter killer drone, uh, recon drone. Um, you get two spitting cobras, you get four, uh, is this four black, ma four black mambas, uh, two iguanas, and four jaegers. Um, so these are, the, the models, I like them, they're not overly simple, sim they're not overly simple, um, but they're not super complicated either. Uh, if you are super into doing freehand and that sort of thing, these might be really great for you because uh, I'll show you the one that I've been working on. I have not finished building one. As you can see, it's in parts still. But um, the model has a lot of spaces for you to explore um, painting. Uh, this is my um, King Cobra. Uh, I have, I'm trying to decide how, how I want to position the torso and uh, trying to figure out if the gun that's on the box is the one that I want to put on him. Uh, and then he has these plates that will cover up most of his legs. So I'm thinking I will leave these off until after I'm finished painting, um, just in case I want to make them a completely, di completely different color uh, and want to explore some, uh, some options in... Um, how I want my southerns to look. So, uh, as you can see, so he's got a rifle arm of some kind, um, missile pod, minigun, um, and there are other options on the sprue, whole bunch of other things that could be put on him, um, but not knowing what goes with what, I've opted to wait to attach weapons until after I've had a chance to talk with Spencer about uh, what goes on what. Um, so this is a very short, just basic unboxing video. I hope to come back uh, with a painting video and maybe Spencer and I will record a how to play or something in the future. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, and stay tuned for maybe some spotlight videos. I've been painting up a lot of uh, Marvel Crisis Protocol figures. I now own all of them that, are, that currently exist. Rock and Groot are my last two. Painting up a lot of uh, Star Wars Imperial Assault. Um, and I have a whole slew of Star Wars Legion models uh, that I've built 
but not based or primed or anything because I'm waiting for bases to come in from Sirisa Precision because um, I don't like the, the massive tall bases that they come with. All right, so uh, thanks for tuning in, and we will catch you later.